There once was a village in India that was being plagued by a fierce snake. This cobra would chase and eat anything small in the village. He would eat the small animals and he would even chase the villagers' children. The villagers at first put out bowls of milk to appease him, but the snake became used to it. And so if they forgot to put out the milk, or if they put out less than the day before, the snake would become even fiercer than ever. Eventually, the villagers had had enough of this. And they got their pitchforks, and they got their stones, and they gathered together, ready to go into the fields, chase the snake out, and kill it. And at that moment, a holy man, a Brahmin, entered the village. And he saw the mob gathered, and he said, what, what brings you all together? Why are you so angry? And they told him of the snake, and they told him of their plans. And the Brahmin listened to this. And he said, if I can get him to stop biting you, will you let the snake live? At first the villagers were like, no, we won't. He's plagued us long enough. But eventually the Brahmin's kindness won out and they said, all right, if you can get him to stop biting, we won't kill him. So the Brahmin wandered in to the fields. The grasses were knee high and they brushed against his legs as he wandered across them into a tree that was way over at the edge of the field. He sat cross-legged beneath the tree and he waited. And very soon, the snake, feeling someone in his territory, slithered out, saw the man, and became enraged and ready to strike at him, someone in his territory. But the Brahman, he stopped. And he began to sing. Om Bhur Bhuvaha Svaha Tat Savitu Vareniyam Pargo Devasya Timahi Tiyo Yona Prakshotayat Om Bhur Bhuvaha Svaha Tatsavitu vareniyam Pargo devasya timahi Tiyo yona prakshotayat The snake had never heard such a song before and was mesmerized. And as the Brahmin sang it over and over and over, the snake felt his heart soften and then eventually, he slithered up to the holy man and rested his head upon his knee. And the holy man, eventually, he stopped singing. And he looked down at the snake. And he said, my friend, you must stop biting the people of this village. Find peace. Find other quarry to seek. But stop biting the people. And the snake was in such a space of peace that he agreed he would stop biting the people. So the Brahmin got up and he said, I will come back in a year and see how you are. And the snake slithered off and the Brahmin walked through the grass again. The grass continued to grow and eventually the villagers cut it down and they planted new crops. And a year later, the crops were at that height again. And the Brahmin came wandering back. He came looking for his friend, the snake. He sat underneath the tree and waited, but he didn't appear, so he began to wander through the fields, calling out for him. And eventually, the edge of the farthest field, there was a muddy ditch, and in that ditch, there was a slow-moving, long snake covered in mud. And how he had been transformed in a year's time. He had become so skinny that you could see all of his ribs running up along his back to his tail. You could see where he had had cuts and bruises, and he was so weak, he could barely move. The Brahmin came to his friend, and he dropped down beside him and lifted his head with his hands and said, What happened, my friend? The snake feebly looked up at him and said, I did what you asked. I stopped biting. And when the villagers found out that I wouldn't bite them, they began to beat me. They threw stones at me and chased me with sticks away from even the smallest quarry. I have had nothing if little to eat for this whole year. 
Being peaceful has done me no good. Oh, my friend, said the Brahmin. I told you not to bite. I never told you not to hiss. And so the snake remembered his hiss. And the people of the village learned to keep their distance. And peace, once again, was in the village. Thank you for watching. I'm Anne Harding and I'm a storyteller and a musician. And if you like what you saw, there will be more stories. And I look forward to seeing you again. Thanks.